Hi, Flastube. I'm Kayla, the Hufflepuff Stitcher, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot second. Um, so I figured I'd try and get one in. I've actually got a little bit of stuff to show. I'm joined today by Luna, who is over here. Well, she was taking a nap until I started talking. Now she's wondering what in the heck I'm doing. Um, I've got Blue in here as well, so if it sounds like there is a stuffed animal being shredded, it's because there is a stuffed animal being shredded. Um, also, she ends up coming over here. She is wearing the Cone of Shame right now. Uh, if you watched my last video at all, then you saw that we had found a dog. Um, and we were not able to find any owners for her. She had no collar on. She's not chipped. Uh, we posted on like every lost pet page here, contacted all the vets, the local pet stores, anything we could do to try and find an owner. Um, and nobody ever came forward. So she is now ours. We're keeping her. And as a result, she had to get fixed. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, she just got fixed last week, so she still has her little coat of shame on. Um, but she's definitely got all of her energy back, which is not necessarily a good thing, since we want to keep her calm. That way she's not ripping out her stitches by jumping around and flailing and being essentially a giant puppy. Um, and then Zelda should be in the bedroom, I believe, taking a nap as far as I know. So, you may see them. Either way, that's what's going on over here right now. So, since I saw you guys last time, um, I have worked on a few different things, and I'm a little better prepared this week than I was last time because I actually have some notes. Hopefully, that will help keep me on track here. Um, I am doing Magical Stitches again this year. However, instead of it being Harry Potter themed, it has now switched over to a Disney theme. Um, I gotta say, the book series that it's going with, I believe the first book is called like Disney After Dark or something. I like the story. It's got a good plot. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the writing style. Um, but I'm a little over halfway through the book, so obviously I need to see how this ends, plus all of the prompts that were being given have to do with the book. Um, but rather than going through like each week's assignments and what I did for that. I'm just going to show you the projects. It's been about four weeks worth of stuff now. I'm not going to bother with all that. Plus, I am not stressing myself out about trying to keep up with everything in this group because this year is going to be stressful enough as it is. Um, Honey Badger is due in five weeks now, so we are coming up on crunch time. And once she's arrived, stitching is not going to be something I'm stressing about. I'm anticipating it will probably be a little low on my list of things. But regardless, uh, the first thing that I have made some progress on since I saw you guys last time would be the Pumpkinville Sal from last year by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, ooh, I left the needle minder on there. Trying to get it off and the needle just stabbed through. Pause, please. Beautiful needle minder. Um, so since I saw you guys last time, I believe last time I saw we had just finished June. So I have since finished the July block there with a the little beach house. We did August with this school, and I love how it's raining. That made me smile. And then I'm working on September at the moment. Um, I mean, I, I would show you a picture, but I don't print off the cover photo because I'm not gonna waste ink on that. I print off the actual pattern itself. Um, if you're really curious though, just go on Instagram. I'm sure there are a lot of people who have completely finished theirs because I am very behind. Um, slowly catching up though. So that is being worked on slowly but surely. Get that needle minder back in there so I don't lose it. And Baloo managed to 
bust a squeaker out of the toy, but she's having a hard time chewing on it because it got underneath her cone of shame, so she's trying to scoop it up. Oh, if any of you have had pets who have worn that before, it can be hilarious. Uh, the next thing that I have worked on since I saw you last is Pretty Little Hawaii. Um, I got this one out to work on a couple of the assignments so far in Magical Stitches. Um, and this year, in addition to doing the assignments themselves and having to match a prompt, there are also just straight up counting challenges to unlock parks. Um, instead of being separated into houses, we are separated into different resorts that are part of um, Disney World. I've never been to any of them, but I am apparently Grand Floridian Spa and Resort. So yay, Grand Floridian. <laughs> um, pretty much you can just count the stitches and once your hotel, resort, whatever as a whole has reached a certain number of points or a certain number of stitches, then you get like a little certificate saying, yay, you did it. I don't know. It's something kind of peaceful to do. Makes you feel like you're accomplishing something without having to specifically match any particular prompt. But either way, worked on some pretty little Hawaii. So I will insert a picture of where I was on this one last time here. And this is how far I got. So we got this tower in, worked on this building a bit. Uh, excuse me. Added a little bit more down here, which I believe that was part of another building. Uh, yes, actually, it is part of another building. Um, yeah, so I got this a little bit done. And I might have to get this one back out again because snow has finally decided to arrive in Michigan. Uh, super duper late this year. Normally we've been trapped in for quite a while by this point of the year. Um, but just seeing the snow out there and the ice and ugh, I need some more tropical warmth. Um, having been working on things to get ready for baby honey badger. Her nursery is a Harry Potter theme. So that actually has really gotten me into the Harry Potter spirit. So I have gotten my giant Harry Potter back out to work on. So this is what it will eventually look like. Sorry if the table shaking blue is sniffing at stuff. Thank you, baby. Um, don't be bugging her. So, join Harry Potter. Someday we'll get done. Definitely not before her arrival. Oh, she's pulling on the cord. That dog still makes me nervous. If you saw her in the last video at all, running around with that Christmas tree. The tree did stay up. She did not knock it down a single time. But sometimes I wonder how that was even possible that it stayed up. Um, but I'll insert a picture of where I was last time here, and this is how far I have gotten. So I have gotten Moaning Myrtle done, um, pretty much finished with Tom Riddle. I just need, I don't know if you can see, but like the very top of his head is missing just a couple stitches. So almost done with him. And then I've got um, the diary right there, the Horcrux. I've also added in some of the chess pieces up top and this really awesome swirly gold doodad. I'm gonna pause for a second. They like to chew on each other. Hold please. All right, we're back. Um, they just like to mess with each other and get all snippy. Not in a mean way, usually. <laughs> At least not on Blue's part. She's just a big old ball of energy. Luna, on the other hand, gets grumpy, and Blue just takes that to mean that she's playing, which is clearly not what Luna's trying to do. Um, the only changes that I've made so far in the giant Harry Potter is to switch out the DMC metallic gold that it calls for 
for a treasure braid instead, uh, Rainbow Gallery. It's about a bazillion times easier to work with than that DMC Metallic. Don't ever work with DMC Metallic if you can avoid it. Swapping it out, you can't even tell the difference between the two. It's pretty fantastic. And if for some reason you can tell the difference between where I stitched on there with the DMC Gold originally, before I realized Rainbow Gallery is so much easier, step away from the cross stitch. You should not be that close to my project in the first place. Right, and then the last thing that I've worked on since I saw you guys last is also a new start and a new finish. I worked on Winter Wonderland by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, what I ended up ultimately deciding for this year is rather than joining in on some type of official stitch along that I know I won't be able to keep up with. Sorry, she's trying to walk under my legs right now. Um, I would instead kind of make my own and get some decor out of it in the process. Um, I've already finished previously two of them in this Seasonal Sayings series by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And I thought this would be a good year to, I guess, do some more. Um, so I am kind of creating my own little mini stitch along if anybody is interested in joining in with me at all. Um, I'm just using the hashtag seasonal sayings sal, um, which I will hopefully find a way to put in down at the bottom somehow. Um, Pretty much, I just went through all of the seasonal sayings from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery and picked out a, one for each month of the year that I don't already have one for. So for January, I thought the little polar bear was adorable. Um, and this is all of the called for colors. I did this on a 28 count even weave from Michael's actually this time, not Hobby Lobby. And I just dyed it with it's either teal or an aqua writ. I don't remember officially which one. And then a um, little bit of gray as well, just to add in some texturiness to it. Um, these other ones I already printed off. Again, I don't print off cover photos, so I'll just hold it way back. But for February, we got hugs and kisses, um, which I'm about ready to dye some fabric for that one as well. I'm thinking maybe a pink, but I'm gonna have to take a look at the color of the threads that it's called for just to make sure that it's gonna show up on there. Uh, for March, I've got Luck and Clover, and I'm thinking about adding in some gold metallic to this as well, just to add some sparkle and shine to it. Uh, for April, I've got Stretch Those Legs. Also, I think I just saw the male person out there, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, for May, I wasn't quite sure what to do, so I did this one, which kind of works for both April and May. April showers bring May flowers. Um, and I think maybe what I'll do is switch it over after... Easter. That way it's still up for part of April and then all of May. Maybe. Um, June, I have already previously finished the, was it Waves Galore, I believe, which I'll insert a picture of here. Um, I finished that one last year. For July, I did Liberty's Lights last year, which I'll insert a picture of here. So July is already taken care of. Uh, for August, oh, these are not in order. Give me a second. Hey, there it is. For August, I bought this one last year. I already have the stuff dyed for it. Hey, stop, stop, wait for a moment. Um, just have to actually do it. But this one is Summer Nights. Blue, baby. Blue. Hey. Hey. Pause, please. Oh, hold it. All right, we're back. 
Um, so September, I've got I Love Fall. For October, I'm thinking about maybe adding some glow-in-the-dark threads to this one. I haven't decided yet, and I have no idea where. I'll get to that later. She is now barking at the guinea pig. Uh, this is called Which Better? So, which better have my candy? Um, for November, I've got Gobble Till You Wobble. And then for December, I did Christmas goodies. Sorry about the screen in there. And now Zelda has come. Out. All right, pausing again. All right, let's see if we can get through the rest of this video now. Um, Zelda has now joined us on the couch. Blue is chewing on a bone on the floor, it looks like. So maybe that will help keep her occupied. And Luna is underneath the couch. So if you hear banging around or the crunching of water bottles, she's a little hoarder who likes to take empty water bottles and take them under the couch. That way she can chew on them. Our thought is because neither of the bigger two dogs can fit underneath there to steal her stuff. So that's like her preferred hoarding location. Uh, actually, funny story. We moved the couch a couple weeks ago to clean. And while we were just flabbergasted at the pure amount of stuff she has dragged under the couch, she was actively pulling stuff back under the couch that we had just moved. So I will insert that picture here in case anybody knows how to stage an intervention for a hoarding chihuahua. We were laughing so hard. Um, so my upcoming plans are incredibly loose. I am definitely not committing to anything at this point in time. Um, I do want to get a start on the next month of my sale. Um, again, I'm just making my own thing here, uh, which you are more than welcome to join in if you are interested. It's just any of the seasonal sayings from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I'm using the hashtag seasonal sayings sal. Um, so I'll be probably starting that February one at some point in time. Um, I am also definitely in the mood for the Harry Potter right now, so I will be continuing to work on my giant Harry Potter until that mood passes. Um, and then Pumpkinville as well. I want to get that done because I am behind by a lot. We are now at like the end of January and it's still not done. And it should have been done in December while it was still 2019. I have failed. It's okay. <laughs> um, and that's really all I have for my plans. Um, other than that, it's, you know, stuff around the house. We've got the baby shower coming up this weekend. So we're going to have people over. We're just hosting it at our house, keeping it small. Um, but that does mean I need to clean the house a lot. Um, the nesting urge is starting to take over, which involves scrubbing things with a toothbrush. My husband's not very happy with me for doing that. That has water in it. Blue also likes water bottles. They don't get to play with ones that still have liquid. Um, anyways, so setting up nursery stuff, cleaning, definitely cross-stitching when I need to sit down because I love cross-stitching. Um, and I'm no longer nauseous. It is bound to happen at some point. <laughs> um, yeah, that's essentially all my plans right there. Um, I do have the giveaway winner from last time. So last video back in December, I was giving away the Hometown Holidays. Um, this is the bookstore. So what you had to do was answer the question of what your favorite book is, what kind of book recommendations you had, etc. Um, I will insert the picture of the drawing here. And congratulations to Anastasia Nico. Nico? 
Not sure how to pronounce that. I apologize. But I will comment on your comment. Um, either shoot me a message on Instagram, um, the Hufflepuff Stitcher, or um, send me an email at the email that's listed down below. And let me know your address. That way I can get it to you. Um, no giveaway for this week. Because we are... Like I said, about five weeks away from due date, and I don't know when I'm going to do my next video, and I don't want to commit to something and then completely forget about it, and it just never happened. So, no giveaway, but I will hopefully see you guys at least once in February. And then after that, I don't have a clue, but we'll play it by ear. Um, as always, I am on Instagram. I do a lot better posting there than I do posting on FlossTube lately. Sorry for that. But if you're interested in keeping up with anything, just follow me there. The Hufflepuff Stitcher. All one word. Um, I believe it's all I have for you guys. So until whenever I see you next time, keep it magical. Bye.